All right. So for the next um, type of imaging we should be looking at as related to women issues is what is known as a sonohysterography. Sonohysterography. All right. Some people say sonohysterogram. Okay. So it's also known as what saline infusion sonography. Okay. Let's talk about it. You guys should get to understand. So, it's just a specialized ultrasound procedure. It's used to get a clearer view of the uterus and the lining of the uterus, everything. It's especially helpful when standard ultrasound are not giving you a detailed image of what you want. Do you understand? I'm not giving you the image you want. So, what is what is involved? A sterile saline solution is gently infused into the uterus through a thin catheter inserted via the cervix. At the same time, a transvaginal ultrasound probe captures real-time images of the uterus lining. This is the probe. They cover it with something like a condom, or right? they put what? A lubricant. Then they now put it into the vagina, okay? So, at the same time, a transvaginal ultrasound probes, okay, capture, I've spoken about that. So the saline expands the uterus slightly, helping to highlight every detailed anomaly. So it's still normal ultrasound of the uterus. You understand? But the saline is what is making everything so big so that I can look at every place. So why is it done? To investigate abnormal uterine bleeding. So a woman has been bleeding out of her menstrual period. You want to dictate that. Right. to dictate abnormalities like fibers, like polyps, like adhesions, like congenital defects, evaluate the shape of the uterus, is it normal? Okay. What to expect? It's just 30 to 40 minutes with saline infusion taking a uh, path, path taking about 5 to 10 minutes. So they usually lie on a table, the process feels like pap smear. Okay. Mild cramping or discomfort may occur during saline injection. All right? So after care and safety, some women may experience some one or two little bleeding, you know, watery discharge, or mild cramping for a few hours. Okay? So most people resume normal activities the same day. So it's very safe. Okay?